Welcome back to Simplified on Power Drift and today we're simplifying what E20 fuel is and how it can affect your vehicle. Now big change with the BS6 phase 2 guidelines is the introduction of E20 fuel and vehicles that are E20 fuel compliant. Now what E20 means is that there is 20% ethanol content in the fuel. Ethanol is a type of fuel itself, but more importantly, it's a renewable fuel that is derived from natural sources, fermentation of sugars and alcohol being the primary ones. Now we already have fuel with 10% ethanol content known as E10 fuel that is available across the country. And the new E20 fuel is also going to roll out soon in phases. Now, while this may seem like a simple change, E20 fuels are dramatically different from the standard neat petrol that you and I might know of. Now, firstly, ethanol is not as energy dense as petrol. So putting ethanol in petrol can reduce your engine's output and fuel efficiency. However, if a manufacturer tunes the engine right, the differences can be minimized. Now, BSX Phase 2 cars and motorcycles are also able to compensate for this thanks to something known as a closed loop fuel injection system, which in simple terms, it makes your vehicle's fuel injection system rely on a lambda sensor for constant adjustment of the air fuel ratio. So, your E20 ready car or motorcycle will simply compensate for the different fuel with a different air fuel mixture. Now, the slightly more important side to this is the effect of the fuel on the internals of your vehicle. Now, ethanol as a fuel is more water absorbent and water is not a great lubricant, making E20 fuels more corrosive to your engine's internals. Now, because of this, BS6 Phase 2 compliant cars and motorcycles may see some changes to their engine's internals and the materials that they're built with to help them withstand the more corrosive fuel. This could also bring in an increase in cost. Now, what happens to older vehicles? For older vehicles though, E20 fuel is bad news. Not only are their internals not made for E20 fuel, but some older cars and motorcycles may also run a leaner air fuel mixture, which can lead to a higher combustion temperature. Now, both of these can lead to serious engine damage in the long run and also increased emissions. Now, the question is, why is the government doing this? Why are they going through all this trouble to give us E20 fuel? Now, there are three reasons for this. Firstly, E20 fuels burn cleaner than petrol and significantly reduce carbon emissions. So that's already a great point for E20 fuels to exist. Now, secondly, producing ethanol can be a carbon neutral process itself. So even food and plant waste can be used to make ethanol. So the entire process of making ethanol versus petrol, ethanol is way cleaner. Now, thirdly, and perhaps most importantly for our government, ethanol can be made right here in India and it will reduce our country's reliance on oil imports and in fact, boost the farming economy. Now, E20 fuels are yet another step in clamping down on internal combustion engines, but I can only hope that with higher ethanol content in our fuel and low taxation on ethanol, we will see lower fuel prices as well. But sadly, economics can't really be simplified. Well, that's it from us on Simplified today. Thank you for watching. And if you want any more topics to be covered, let us know in the comments below. See you soon.